Good morning, this is the Plug Seeker. Welcome to another episode. Now, in today's episode, I'll be doing a, a little bit of a road trip um, down to Bunbury, which is near Crewe in Northern England. This, for me, is a trip of 210 miles. Now, so far, I've only done a small number of trips in my new Nissan Leaf Dino, which is a 62 kilowatt hour electric car. So far, I'm really finding the motorway range, if you're doing 70 miles an hour, is about 180 miles or so. Now, this trip, as I say, is 210 miles. So obviously, I'm not going to be able to do it in one go. So I'm going to be arranging to have a convenient stop at some point to get a freshen up and get electric charge. And in case you're wondering why the uh, tie-in shirt, that's because uh, the reason for today's trip is that I'll be attending a friend's wedding. So the main purpose of today's video really is to, again, demonstrate uh, a road trip. But another part of the focus of today is to get a look at the new rapid charging hub, which is located in Rugby. Um, and it just so happened to be conveniently on today's route. So the GridServe um, charging hub at Rugby is about 122 miles from my uh, starting location and from there the journey is about another 94 miles to get to uh, where I'm going. Now why is this particular rapid charging um, location of interest? Well um, for those who are not aware a new company in the UK called GridServe has recently um, made a deal to buy up the um, previously owned uh, charging network called the Electric Highway. For those of you who are not familiar with the Electric Highway, this is a network of electric chargers um, set up along the UK motorways. Um, this was one of the first uh, motorway networks of its kind in the world and was set up um, by Dale Vince, um, who's the CEO of Ecotricity. Um, and this was set up way back in 2011. Um, if you want to learn a little bit more about uh, the Electric Highway and its origins, um, please look at my three-part series, which is also earlier on my channel. And uh, over the years, um, the problem with the Electric Highway is that it suffered a little bit from lack of investment and it had some uh, reliability issues. And since acquiring the Electric Highway a few months ago, um, GridServe has embarked on an ambitious program of completely um, upgrading the entire network. And this has been really at breakneck speed and has been extremely impressive. So at locations uh, like this, they have replaced them with uh, tritium 350 kilowatt state-of-the-art uh, brand new technology. So I'm interested to see how fast this new Nissan Leaf uh, will charge on a 350 kilowatt charger. Um, now, obviously, it can't charge at 350 kilowatts. Uh, I don't think there are really any cars at the moment really can charge that fast at present. So obviously, these chargers are designed to be future-proofed. Um, but this car... I understand should be able to charge at about 100 kilowatts. Um, now, for reference, that's uh, double the potential charging speed of my last Nissan Leaf. So it'll be interesting to see how fast this one can manage. So I'll talk a little bit more about GridServe when I stop next. Um, obviously, I better get on the road because today of all days, I don't want to be late. So I'll see you in a bit. And so I had arrived at the Rugby GridServe hub 
And as you can see, it took me from swiping my debit card to starting my charge just 35 seconds. And that's a massive improvement over the old Ecotricity app that used to require an incredible 11 key presses to initiate a charge. There was also a huge improvement in availability with 12 double-headed tritium chargers, each capable of 350 kilowatts. And as if that wasn't enough at this location, there are also a further 12 Tesla superchargers. So let's take a look at these new electric highway rapid chargers. Obviously, these are very different from the old Ecotricity DBT chargers. Each has two rapid charging plugs located at the sides, which are either blue, which is the Chad mode plug, which is used by mainly Nissan Leafs and Nissan ENV200 vans, or else they are these black CCS plugs, which are used by various electric vehicles and are probably now the commonest format around. And of the 12 chargers, six of them have a Chadmo and a CCS, and the other six are double CCS units. Unfortunately, these units do not have any Type 2 rapid charging plugs, and therefore you may not be able to charge some of the early Renault Zoe's here. In the middle of the unit is a large, easy to use touchscreen, which takes you through how to set up the charge and then shows you the live charging status. And finally, just below the screen is a contactless pad where you pay for the charge using either a debit card or other contactless payments. So what I'm gonna do now is quickly demonstrate how you use one of these units. And it really is quite straightforward. As you can see at the top of each unit, they have simplified the process of charging to three simple steps. As you can see, step one is to plug in your vehicle and step two, you tap a contactless card or device to start the charge. And it really is that simple. Finally, step three, when you're finished, you press the red X on the screen and the charge will finish. You then unplug your EV and you're ready to go. Next to this information is the support line for anyone with difficulties and I'm pleased to say that this is now 24 seven. It also shows the pricing at 30p per kilowatt hour at this time. And finally, there's a QI code if you wish to get a digital receipt for your charging session. So now I'm gonna demonstrate the process. So when you first rock up to the charger, you'll be presented with this startup screen, prompting you to connect your electric vehicle. My Nissan Leaf has two charging sockets and for rapid charging I want this one on the left which is the Chadmo. And as you connect the Chadmo you should hear it click into place. As you return to the screen you'll be prompted to pay using a contactless payment method which you can then do using the contactless pad just below the screen. The screen should then show payment accepted and go on to initiate your charging session. Once started, you should see an ongoing screen which demonstrates the progress of your charge. On the right of the screen, your speed of charge in kilowatts is shown a bit like an odometer. In the middle, there is a blue bar, which shows the state of charge of your car's battery in percentage. And to the left of that, it shows at the top how many kilowatt hours of power have been delivered to your car, how long you've been charging in minutes. And for those who are interested, it also shows how many volts and amps of electricity are being delivered at any one time. Okay, so I've arrived at the Rugby GridServe Multi-Hub and wow, it is impressive, I've got to say. Um, there are multitudes of 350 kilowatt tritium chargers here, um, right next to a row of Tesla superchargers. 
Um, so this really is very impressive. And uh, if this is the uh, state of things to come with GridServe and the national uh, motorways in England, um, then this is gonna be an absolute real game changer. Um, so I'm really uh, enthused about this uh, and I'm pleased I uh, made a point of stopping here. So as you saw from me connecting up, uh, these grid serve uh, chargers are extremely easy and straightforward. Um, literally, you plug your car in, tap your contactless card, and you're done. Um, you probably can access it with an app as well. Um, I didn't look into that too much today. Um, but to be honest, um, I think if you can access it using a debit card, most people are probably going to do that anyway, um, unless they set up a subscription service to make it cheaper for regular users. Um, but yeah, so very impressed. It's currently charging at uh, 72 kilowatts um, and um, I'm already up 10% uh, having just uh, been charging for literally uh, a couple of minutes. Um, in terms of my journey so far, I arrived here uh, with 41% charge left uh, and I'll put down here the uh, statistics of the journey so far. So for the next step of my journey is only another 93 miles. The estimated range already having just charged for five minutes or so is already up to 137 miles. So I'll just stay on charge for maybe 10, 15 minutes, just so I've got a bit of extra for the journey um, home. I might as well get a bit now while I have a quick break and a coffee. Um, and then once I've had a quick coffee break, I'll be straight off on the road. Um, at the moment, there are one, two, three other um, electric cars charging on the grid serve, and there's another Tesla charging on the superchargers. So really plenty of available stalls. Uh, and this really is what you need, um, a rapid charging hub for non-Tesla users, which is just as easy and straightforward, well, almost as easy and straightforward as the Tesla supercharger network. If we have one like this, on every service station in Great Britain, or in a lot of them, I think, yeah, it's going to just revolutionize um, the UK motorway travel. I'll have to do a video probably all about GridServe at some point in the future, because they really are an interesting new uh, player on the uh, electric uh, car charging networks in the UK. They look to be uh, really making a name for themselves in uh, setting up uh, excellent high quality uh, charging hubs now across the country. So uh, uh, I think when I do a trip at some point to their massive um, electric car forecourt in Braintree in Essex, um, I think when I do that, I'll do um, a more detailed uh, uh, review of GridServe themselves as a network. So I'll call it there. Time for a quick coffee now. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. So finally, I'm going to demonstrate how to end a charge and to disconnect your EV. And as I said before, this is really easy. You simply press the red cross on the far right of the charging screen. The charger will then disconnect and prompt you to remove the charging cable. You then unplug the charger from your EV and with the CHAdeMO, press down on the button and pull back sharply to remove the plug. Place the cap back on the charger and return it to the charging holster. And that's it, you're ready to go. Right, so that's it, I have finished charging, which was about the time it took me to have a quick toilet break and uh, get a nice cup of coffee. 
And uh, in the time it's done that, it's taken me from 41% up to 90%. But let's face it, I was not limited by the charger. I just wanted to have a quick refresh and break. And uh, I've got more than enough in that time. So yeah, really impressed. And uh, here's to seeing more grid serves across the country. So I better get on the road because as I said earlier, I don't want to be late today. So um, I'll call it a day here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to share it on Twitter, Facebook, or whatever social media you use. It really does help out my channel and I really do appreciate it. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell to get new updates as soon as I release them. So that's it for me today. This is the Plug Seeker from the Rugby Gridserve Hub, signing off. Happy charging, everyone.